This week, the Democrats, led by Governor Murphy, announced an expansion of the proposed anchor program that would give money directly back to taxpayers. Let me just lay out the details of that plan quickly. Earners up to $150,000 would receive $1,500 in tax rebates. Earners between $150,000 to $250,000 would get $1,000 back. And renters actually make up about half of those earning the rebate. They would get $450. What is your reaction? What is the reaction of the GOP here in New Jersey to that plan? Well, Joanna, thank you very much. And, and quite frankly, we, um, we're glad that the governor and the uh, Democrat majority is looking at giving money back to the residents of New Jersey. Uh, as you know, the Senate Republicans had a uh, give it back plan, uh, which would have given significantly more money back to our residents of New Jersey and uh, would have given it back much quicker. I think the uh, anchor program that the governor has, has laid out is ba basically giving money back in uh, 2023. We would have gotten the Senate Republican plan was to get it back into their pockets this year in 2022. Uh, and we would have given it to uh, significantly more people. But at the same time, we're, you know, we're with uh, thankful, at least we were uh, influenced them to not only to come out with a program, uh, but also to increase their program once the revenues came in significantly higher than what they had expected. So um, we would have done it uh, significantly more money. We would have done it significantly quicker, um, but at least we influenced them in having a program to get money back into the pockets of New Jersey residents. So you mentioned that the money would be reimbursed next year. I believe the governor's plan says May of 2023. And for some folks, this is not a direct check. This is actually just a credit. So your give it back plan would have given checks directly to uh, families, put, put checks in the hands of families? Yes, uh, actually, when we, when we first did it, we, remember we did it uh, when people were still filing their income tax returns. We said that people could have taken the credit right on their income tax return. Uh, the state of New Jersey is still is still processing uh, refund checks. They could certainly put it into the refund check, or the people could um, obviously uh, get a check directly back from the state of New Jersey. But as I said, our our program was significantly more money and significantly uh, more you know more more residents. Senator, we have a question from John Reitmeyer. Uh, John, go ahead. I just wanted to follow up on Joanna's question. Um, you know, obviously there are some key differences between what you and fellow Republicans have proposed, but at the same time, as you noted, this does provide a lot of tax relief to New Jersey residents and seems to accomplish a similar goal, which is getting a significant chunk of the, the uh, surplus that this state has right now in back into the hands of some residents. Um, do Republicans plan to co-sponsor the anchor proposal um, I mean, isn't this an opportunity for Republicans to sort of declare victory and say that, you know, your advocacy for tax relief has gotten Democrats to this point? Remember, it was Chris Christie who established the direct credit on property tax bills that the Democrats are right. using as the vehicle for anchor. So why not just declare victory and move forward here? Well, well, John, first of all, we have to see all the uh, all the detail of the plan. But quite frankly, just as I mentioned right now, um, I, you know, I suspect there's going to be, you know, support for it. it is, there's been, you know, lots of support for getting money uh, directly back to people, as you um, uh, mentioned. Um, so, quite, we, you know, we do think this, you know, Republicans have uh, had significant influence here in making sure that not only that they had a program, uh, but also that they significantly increased the program just the other day, which they announced it. I guess they haven't really announced a budget. Um, a, a budget deal just yet, but they did come out and announce that they were going to significantly increase their uh, anchor program. So, uh, John, I do think that we had significant influence there. Um, if it's you know put forth as a separate bill, which I think it will be, I think you're going to see um, almost you know wide wide support you know uh, for it. And believe me, we'll, we'll also take credit for it. So, Senator, actually last week, David had former Senate President Steve Sweeney on, who was talking about the fact that New Jersey needs to be really careful with the surplus in terms of how much money they actually use in give back programs or or otherwise uh, fund programs that that might not be able to be funded ongoing. Um, my question to you is, 
in just this last week, we've seen the Fed spike the interest rates and now talk of a recession looming is, is kind of churning up. Is now the time to be doing a give back program or should the state be hunkering down and preparing for some tough times ahead? Well, John, very good question. And here, here's the issue there. First of all, let's face it, a few years ago, um, less than you know, 10 years ago, when we were on the budget committee, when we were talking about what's the size of the surplus we should have, now it's close to $11 billion. Obviously, you know, this, this budget will, you know, the budget deal will take it down a little bit because they'll be spending uh, some of the money, obviously, on the, this anchor program and whatnot. However, um, we used to talk about if there was a 10% surplus, that would be, a, you know, because we were down into the very, very low single digits, that that would be a good number. We're significantly higher than that now. $5 billion in, in our plan, the Senate Republican plan, we call for more than a $5 billion uh, you know, surplus. And quite frankly, when you, when you think about it, um, the state of New Jersey hoarding money, taking money out of the economy is what can help you know, cause a deeper recession for New Jersey if we do, if the Federal Reserve is not um, you know, nimble enough to thread the needle with respect to a, a, um, a soft landing. And we saw it in New Jersey once before. New Jersey entered the 2000 and, and the, the early 2000s recession, um, and we never really fully recovered from when the great uh, recession happened in 2008, 2009. So quite frankly, having that money in the economy where people were using it, instead of hoarding it at, um, at the state level, it's significantly better for the economy. At the same time, having a healthy surplus in the range of the five billion dollars, I think, would be you know, certainly significantly better than what we've been in you know in the past. I want to switch gears quickly. We uh, the Democrats have a package of gun reform bills that they are trying to get through the legislature. I want to know where you stand on things like holding gun manufacturers accountable for guns that illegally make their way into New Jersey or that cause harm to others, um, or things like safe storage of guns, people having to take safety classes before getting a gun permit. Where do you stand on some of those issues? Well, Jenna, thank you very much. And, and quite frankly, New Jersey, we all know New Jersey has um, some of the uh, strictest gun laws in the country. Uh, I think California is rated by the Brady uh, uh, c commission number one in New Jersey, I think is rated uh, number two. And quite frankly, we, I, fr I firmly believe that we should be focusing on the issue of the violence. What, what happens all the time now is the fact that um, legal gun owners in New Jersey, legal gun owners in New Jersey, the ones that end up getting, um, you know, har harmed by a lot of this, you know, feel good kind of legislation where quite frankly, if we went after if we went after, uh, as you said, the illegal guns and whatnot, which New Jersey has a significant amount of laws already on the books, and also the violence aspect and also the mental health aspect, I think that those are the things that will actually help to, um, you know, to curtail, you know, any kind, any kind of violence. And you, you so, mentioned illegal you, guns, illegal guns, and quite frankly, illegal guns and crime. That's the issue. So would you would you vote in support of a bill that held gun manufacturers accountable? Hold gun manufacturers accountable? I think what we, we always hold criminals accountable. That that I've always been very supportive of. The idea of you know, what do we do with you know car manufacturers um, or something like that? You know who it's people who are using the material, whether it be a car, whether it be a gun, whether it be a knife, whether it be a bat, whatever. Uh, is, is it the manufacturer or is it the user? Yeah, thank you. That's all the time that we have, Senator, but I really appreciate you coming on and talking with us today. Uh, great to get your take on what's happening in Trenton. Thank you, Joanne. Have a great day.